Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you guys are having a blessed day. Well, the saga continues. Um, when I had got on here last time, I was talking about do not sell you so. Well, what I did is I downloaded to YouTube because I have a YouTube family as well. And I always go back and listen to it because when I'm in the spirit of God, when I'm on here, I really don't. I don't listen to what I'm saying, meaning that I allow the Holy Spirit to actually speak to me and for me to just flow. So when I was listening back to it, because it blesses me too, you know what I'm saying? So when I listen back, it was just at seven something. I said, oh my God. So they cut me off again. Y'all don't understand what's happening. Y'all know that haven't happened in a long time, meaning that it just started recently, the last 40 days. Remember when we went on that 40 day fast? What am I saying? Come on somebody, hallelujah. The enemy can't stop me. Come on somebody, because I, I, I decided to get back on here we record come on somebody i listened to what i said the first time and now i'm coming back i didn't pray I, I, I'm, I'm going i'm gonna start it again come on somebody let me tell you something it just lets me know from yesterday when I was at the bank, when this guy verbally abused me as far I tried to, let's just say it tried to, with that fake tongue I'm talking about he served Diablo, to them stopping my lives. That lets me know. And I'm not trying to be arrogant, but but guess what? I'm going to use this as a testimony. Since Satan want to play, let's play. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Be very afraid of the anointing of God. Because just like Jesus took the keys, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The remnant should do the same. That's where we come in, honey. We we coming with that power for real, that Holy Ghost power. Ain't nobody playing in this hour and the enemy knows it and he is scared of an anointed man or woman of God. Y'all better listen to what I'm saying. He is very scared of it. Why else would you cut off a live for five more minutes because of the anointing, because of the anointing that's in my voice. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody arrogant. I'm not trying to act like I'm all there, but I know what's inside of me. And he knows that when people listen to the anointing, there are spirits that have to bow down. When people listen to the anointing of God. You are healed. You are delivered. You are restored. Hallelujah. We come into agreement because God says when any two shall touch and agree, then it shall be done. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Enemy can't stand me and I can't stand him. Hallelujah. So I'm going to reiterate something I said so they can get that second part. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. I was talking about how the prodigal son and the prodigal daughter, how they came to themselves because I reminded me of myself when I came back, come on somebody, hallelujah, from doing all those things that God restored me, that God saved me, that God kept me. Hallelujah. And I was talking about how the movies from boys in the hood, minister, society, all these movies, even the ones that y'all love to look at today, power y'all, I'm not trying to be funny. All it's disturbing. It's disturbing. It's disturbing. Somebody had it on and I happened to look. Yes, I did. And what I saw for those minutes just standing up because I did not sit down. I did not want to get comfortable. It disturbed me. I don't want to look at people selling drugs, killing people, acting a fool. Come on. You, you, you don't even have to look at TV for that anymore. You can go outside. And, and you know, I'm just being real. If Is that what we've come to as a culture? Are you crazy? Nobody want to look at that in their spirit. So all that stuff, that's what's making people go crazy. It's like carrying people to the slaughter just with their Popeye's chicken. They they focus on the masses. Let me now I'm going here. Oh hallelujah! I feel the power of God. You should have never messed with me, enemy. Let me tell you something. Y'all need to look at the Hunger Games, Divergent. All that stuff is about to come to pass. Y'all don't want it to. I, I know y'all don't want it to touch you because it's scary. Let's not talk about it. No, let's talk about it. Don't y'all see they they setting it up? They setting up all the stages. And that's why people are killing each other over a dime. These young kids, all that technology. I truly believe that they have put something in that technology because I'm telling you, they get hooked. They they have done studies where a baby, you give a baby the tablet. Now, a baby can't even talk, but, but they'll start crying for that tablet. You don't think that something's wrong with that? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So be very upset. Be very angry, devils. Because God have a remnant on this earth that's going to talk like he talk, walk like he walk, move like he move, just like that. Come on, somebody with the power of God. No, we are not that great. As a matter of fact, we can't do nothing but by God. Because he said, by my spirit, hallelujah to his name. Praise God, praise God. So I'm telling you right now. You're right. They're trying to desynthesize everything. You know, that's why so many, so many people getting angry. You got people just, uh, they, they don't even have the spirit of God. They don't even want God. I'm going to tell you what they want. They want a house, a car. They want to be recognized. But yet, let something happen. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going here. You know, when it's time for them to be on their deathbed, I guarantee you they're going to change their tune. 
because everybody do. They want to start talking about God. They want to talk to somebody that represents God. They want to change their ways. But while they living like hell, they want to do what they want to do. Yeah, I said it. Better count the cost. This stuff real. They're not playing. And the whole thing is to taint you. The whole thing is to separate you from God. To distract you by entertainment, lust, money, greed, all that stuff. So you can be filled with the spirit of the Antichrist. So you don't want no part of God until it's time. And and you got to go to where you got to go. Up or down. Heaven or hell. Oh, it's real. You could better believe that. So yes, count the cost. And I'm going to read that scripture again. New King James Version say, For what profit? It is to a man if he gains the whole world and lose his own soul. Or what will a man give exchange for his soul? So yes, you can sell your soul. King James Version. For what is man profited if he should gain the world, the whole world, I'm or sorry, and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give exchange for his soul? I don't know about you, but I'm not selling my soul. It's not worth it. Thank you, God, for what I have. Thank you, God, for what I don't have. It, that means that you didn't want to give it to me. Okay. So many people are jealous of each other that have money, this, trying to be with the Joneses, live like the Joneses. I didn't did that, been that. And to be honest with you, it, it's, it's a facade. You know what I learned in, in Hollywood while I was there? I'm so serious. See, all that jewelry they wear is borrowed. I'm telling you, they borrowed it from the, um, and some of it is fake. It's Cubic Zucania. Secondly, they they actually rent them houses from the people that really have the houses. I mean, it's like everything's on credit, but it looks like they got all this money. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. The money that be in them videos, they loan them that, and right after that video, get my money back. (laughs) Y'all think this a game. This ain't no game. It's just an illusion. It's not even real. God forbid you sell your soul for illusion. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, a soldier for Jesus Christ to the day I die. For God I live and for God I die. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.